into Armstrong. That front three linking up nicely. Armstrong with the shot on target. Bentley has to get down well to his left-hand side. But already those three showing what they're capable of. Yeah, Harvey Elliott's dropping in very deep just to kind of be that extra creator in midfield and drops in, looks to link and Armstrong gets the shot off. Dan Bentley, uncomfortable save for him. But yes, control them out of possession and, you know, limit them to shots from distance like that's no problem. 16 minutes here at Ashton Gate, Bristol City in possession through Wells. Backinson with a precise ball into Hunt. Semenyo tries to drive it, goal bound, trickles past the post in the end, but again, brilliant build-up play from Bristol City. Brilliant build-up play, and it's that man, Tori Backinson, in the team, buzzing with himself. It's a great pass, and that's what Hunt will offer you on that right side. He is going to get involved. We've seen him as a right wing back and as a right back he's doing the exact same things, asking questions in the attack and third and Antoine Semenya will want to do better with that chance. Maybe go with his right foot, he's opened his body and went with his left, potentially could have went with his right foot. Here's a chance previous, you can see Kaminsky, you know, just makes it worse for his team and unfortunately Hunt doesn't get the cross right into Chris Martin and Blackburn get away with one. Nash dispossesses Johnson, still going here, Nash slices it through to O'Dowda. <laughs> Over the crossbar, he'll be frustrated with himself there, Callum O'Dowda. That's great work from Adam Nash, and we speak about his energy, we see, speak about his tenacity in the tackle, and you can see that's the opportunity that Bristol City have been waiting for. Defend, let them have possession, it's no problem, but look at the people in the box, look at the players making the box on the counter-attack, the energy to get into the box, Chris Martin, Adam Nash, Callum O'Dowd, unfortunately, from that area there, he'd be looking to hit the target, and he's just off balance as he strikes it. And goes over to bar, unfortunately, but... Blackburn been rattled a little bit now in the last few moments. There's been two or three chances. I'll tell you what, for a, for a midweek, for a midweek evening game, it's been a fast start. Martin is onside. Wells in support. Here's O'Dowda. Now Semenyo. Still Semenyo, just past Kaminsky's post. And Bristol City, they've averaged about 10 shots on target. Well, 10 shots in total so far this season per game, but they've uh, certainly racking up the stats so far this evening. Yeah, you can see he, he looks to drive back inside and he's very good off both feet as Antoine Semenyo, off his right and off his left. And I think he just slows the attack down a little bit as he comes back inside and you can see the Blackburn players flooding back in to get behind the ball and no, Blackburn aren't on their metal. Armstrong's through here, skips away from Bentley, can he get back to his feet? Callas is there in the nick of time and Bristol City keep the score at 0-0. And again, it's from nothing, it's from nothing. I mean, I'm just making a point from across in the box a moment ago and all of a sudden they have the ball in their box and that's what this game is, that's what Blackburn can threat, the movement of those attacking three players and that man Dan Bentley again. In these 1v1 situations, I'm so impressed by him. He comes out, he knows when to stand up, he knows when to be patient, he knows when to be big. You can just see it's a great run, but he stands up so well, makes himself big and makes the save. Falls for Semenyo. Skips away from one defender, shoots again, Semenyo. Really good connection, not the direction. But again, it, it's just a goal kick. Chris Martin goes up, flicks the ball on. And we speak about Antoine Semenyo and how great it is to see him direct play, but gets himself right in front of the goal, 20 yards out, and, you know, there's good chances in there. Wells cushions it down. And there are those red shirts joining the attack. Martin shoots to flex off Derek Williams behind for a corner. But for a moment, Kaminsky was scrambling. You can see Derek Williams' expression after this. He's kind of wondering, do I go in with him? Am I supposed to go in with him? Antoine Semenyo's come off wide. What am I supposed to do? And I don't think he started a game very well, I have to say. Back onto his right foot. Nyambe is in space. He's evaded his marker. Still Niambe, Roswell, now Elliot, few deflections, but Dan Bentley's on hand to scoop up the danger. And he holds on to this really, really well, but it looks like the referee's blown the whistle, I think someone's hurt, no one's hurt, I can tell you. Um, yeah, it, it's good play from Blackburn Rovers, it's full-backs again that are, are, are causing the problem. Niambe high and wide on that right-hand side, and 
You can see the movement to the attacking players, and it's Harvey Elliott who gets the shot off in the end. Great hands from Dan Bentley, because they're horrible ones. They're spinning, they've come off deflections. You really have to get two hands on it. Use the ground as a third hand and kind of clutch it in because, you know, those slow little scabby shots that come in on goalkeepers, they're the ones you sometimes see spilled. Tommy Rose shows him wide. Now Elliot into Armstrong, deflected just wide. And it comes from Callum O'Dowd being dispossessed in midfield and you know it's a congested midfield you just can't really be taking too much time on the ball and again Harvey Elliott is just waiting for Callum O'Dowd to come out of position come out of his slot to press him and it's a great little reverse pass in Adam Armstrong Hunt returns the ball to Martin who has acres of space on this near side can he find the right pass O'Dowd a vital vital block from Derek Williams but it will be a Bristol City corner this is what this game is. Zach Vine with a brilliant pass, splits the line, takes Lewis Holtby out of the game, and then it allows Chris Martin to kind of fill that gap in behind Douglas, which we spoke about. There's an area to exploit in behind Barry Douglas, and Chris Martin reads it really well. And Derek Williams makes a great block, to be fair. Callum O'Dowd of a threat arriving in the box. Just over half an hour remaining in this game. It's the, it's the moment for Bristol City to break the deadlock, cleared by... Holtby, Tommy Rowe alert to keep this attack alive, Callas rises highest, into Martin, now Naki Wells, just over the crossbar from the Bermudian, and it will be a goal kick. Yeah, you can see what he's trying to do, he's just looking to feel it into that far corner, probably expecting the goalkeeper to be a little bit unsighted. You said moments ago about Thomas Callas and his leap, like it's superb. He just gets over defenders so well. Chris Martin really streetwise, kind of occupies two or three defenders and manages them not to get a good clearance on it. Half a chance for Naki Wells. Shoots. It's not too far away from Armstrong this time. Yeah, he's looking to pick up this little pocket and. You can see Joe Rothwell does really well on the first occasion, probably rides two or three tackles from Callum O'Dowd. Anton Semenyo has a nibble at him, does quite well, and then he has the patience in the pocket just to get his head up. And that's what I've been impressed with Adam Armstrong from this game. Loads of extensive research gone in at this club to where goals are actually scored from. Flicked on by Jeju, could fall for Naki Wells. He's just trying to loop it back towards Martin. Goes out for a goal kick. And there's your first impact from Ari Jeju, and that's what he's going to offer you, and it's important. You can see Naki Wells just reading it, knowing where the ball's going to be next, and I think Daniel Ayala and Derek Williams know now they've got a fight in their hands with these two up front. Viner finds the run of Naki Wells, good first touch from Bristol City striker just past the post. Huge moment in this game, and Naki Wells narrowly wide. Zach Viner again, his distribution is superb. Naki Wells timing a run, and Barry Douglas would keep asking questions down this left-hand side because he's not having the best of games defensively. Yes, he's joined in an attack, but Naki Wells does really, really well. First touch superb to take it out of sky, set up the shot and narrowly goes past. Room now for Hunt, he's got Wells in support. Well, sends it in towards O'Dowder at the back post, into Martin, Shizu! And it was going to take something special for Bristol City to unlock this Blackburn Rovers defence, and it comes from second-half substitute for Mara Jeju. It's great work on the right-hand side from Naki Wells, and it's Callum O'Dowder who makes the back post and just keeps it alive, just keeps it in there, and... I don't know what that is, and hopefully we can find out. But Callum O'Dowd does really well. Just keeps that attack alive, and his bodies in the box. We spoke about having bodies in the box from Marijeju. That's what he gives you. He's there. He's sensing it. Where's the ball going to land? And on the turn, it's a great finish. Derek Williams can't do anything about trying to make the block. Genius from Callum O'Dowd to keep the ball in play. An important flick from Chris Martin. And Jeju picks up his second goal of the season and how crucial could it prove to be?